Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel Human Diseases and Care. In this video, I will discuss about Colian Debris syndrome. Colian Debris syndrome was first reported by Dr. Rianne Colian and Dr. Judith Debris in 2006. They described the syndrome in a study of individuals with a dis distinctive set of clinical features including developmental delay intellectual disability and a characteristic facial appearance right this is also known as 17q21 deletion syndrome and in short it is known as kdvs kdvs is a rare genetic disorder characterized by a combination of developmental cognitive and physical features KDVS is considered a rare condition the exact prevalence is not well defined due to the rarity of the syndrome and variation in diagnosis rate however it is estimated to occur in approximately 1 in 40000 to 1 in 1 lakh lives per as with many rare genetic disorders increased awareness and advances in genetic testing may help in identifying and diagnosing more cases potentially provide a clearer understanding of its prevalence key features of colian debris syndrome include broad forehead wide set eyes flat nasal bridge prominent chin full lips mild to moderate intellectual disability motor coordination problem seizures autistic like behavior attention problem or social interaction difficulties developmental delays short stature or growth delay feeding difficulties in infancy congenital heart defect congenital kidney abnormalities hearing and vision loss speech and language disorder and hypotonia kdvs is an autosomal dominant genetic disorder caused by a loss of function of the cancel one gene on chromosome 70 typically through a 17q21.31 micro deletion that removes the gene or less commonly through a pathogenic mutation within the gene itself the can cnsl1 gene protein contains several functional domains including a coil coil domain a potential ring finger domain a wr5 interacting motif which recruits the wr5 into the complex and a phe domain at the seed terminus which interact with the head domain of m1 the knsl1 gene protein product plays a crucial role in gene expression it modifies chromatin which is a complex of dna and protein that packages dna into chromosome disruptions in chromatin function due to the loss of cancer one contribute to the characteristic features and developmental issues seen in kdvs the protein produced from cancer one gene is found in most organ and tissues of the body before birth and throughout life by its involvement in controlling the activity of other genes this protein plays an important role in the development and function of many parts of the body in a smaller number of cases an individual has mutation within the cancer one gene itself that makes one copy of gene non functional resulting in the same output as the micro deletion almost all cases are de novo or simplex meaning the genetic alteration occurs spontaneously in the individual and is not inherited from a parent the cancer one gene protein product play a crucial role in gene expression and it modifies chromatin kdvs is diagnosed through a combination of clinical evolution of characteristic features such as a distinctive facial appearance and developmental delay and molecular genetic testing to confirm the genetic cause the primary diagnostic method is chromosomal microarray which detects the common 500 to 650 kb deletion of chromosome 17q21 that includes the cancer one gene this deletion is found in about 
percent of affected endometrium. If CMA does not find a deletion, either single gene testing or a gene panel that include cancer one is performed to identify pathogenic variants within the cancer one gene. This is seen in the remaining 5% of individuals with KDVS. Parental testing is crucial to distinguish between inherited and de novo mutations, which impacts diagnosis. Echocardiogram is performed to check the heart abnormalities such as pulmonary stenosis. Brain MRI is used to detect brain, stru brain structure abnormalities, a common feature in individuals with KDVS. Ultrasound is used to examine the kidney and bladder for structural issues. A coordinated team of specialists, including developmental pediatricians, neurologists, geneticists, speech language pathologists, physical and occupational therapists, and cardiologists, is vital for managing the complex aspects of KDVS. Regular surveillance for developmental progress seizures, scoliosis, and skin changes is crucial for early detection and intervention. Anti-seizal medications are used sometimes for a limited period during childhood. Physical therapy helps with gross and fine motor disease and muscle weakness, and occupational therapy focuses on developing fine motor skills and improving daily functioning. A speech therapy addresses feeling difficulties and communication challenges using techniques like pictures, sign language, and speech devices. Monitoring orthopedic issues such as scoliosis, hip dislocation, and foot deformity and congenital cardiac, renal, and neurologic issues are recommended. Routine ortho ophthalmologic and audiologic evaluations are recommended. Genetic counseling is important for parents to understand the genetic basis of KDVS and recurrence risk. This is all about Julian Dewey syndrome. Thanks for watching. So today we learned about Julian Dewey syndrome, its causes, symptoms, and how it affects the body. If you found this video helpful and learned something new, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel Human Diseases and Teens for more health insights. Share this video with your friends and family members to spread awareness. If you have any questions or queries, drop a comment. I'd like I would like to hear from you. Don't miss my next video until then stay informed and take care of your health. Thank you, thank you.